Today we are in Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, and we're getting ready to tour the Napa. This is a beautiful modern farmhouse from Infinity Custom Homes, and it has some absolutely incredible features, some that we've seen before and some that are gonna be brand new to us. This home features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a two-car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 5,263 square feet. The front of this home has tons of character, which is anchored by the beautiful white board and batten siding and the black trim around the windows and the doors. As we move around to the back of the home, you will notice that the character is not lost back here. It features a massive deck with half of it being covered and half of it being uncovered. Here you will find a built-in grill as well as a beautiful stone fireplace. And let me tell you, this thing was pumping out some heat. This particular home is listed for approximately $1,450,000. However, if you decided to have this home built, this may or may not be the price that you pay. With all that being said, and without further ado, there's only one little thing that I'm going to ask of you, and that's to hit that subscribe button, and we will get inside this home and see what all we can get into. Oh man, this has been such a fun trip. This is the last one uh, of these models, but this is the view that you were greeted with when you do first come in. And it is a huge two-story foyer. So very nice. Turn it around, let's check out the front entryway. And then you got the board and batten going up to this great big window and a nice light fixture hanging down. And then to the left of us, I love these columns right here. Nice little brick work, but that takes you into a sitting room. We'll get there in just a minute. First, let's hit up the office. So again, as with most modern farmhouses, you got the nice sliding barn doors. And then coming in here, I like this. You got the huge built-ins in here. And everything throughout this home is like gold and black and white. Really sharp looking. I like the light fixture. Lights are very nice in here as well. All right, and then getting over here to the sitting room. This could be like a, a formal dining room if you wanted it to be. Or, you know, you just set it up as like a, a brandy room or cigar room type thing, a little study. So many possibilities. But again, you got the nice uh, board and batten accent wall over here, which is super sharp looking. And then from there, you easily flow straight into the kitchen and look at all of this stuff. So we'll start right here because this is the easiest. You do have a microwave sitting over the top of your oven. And then all of that is surrounded by a tremendous amount of cabinets. And you even have these nice uh, accent cabinets up at the top. And they actually go all the way through the kitchen itself. So that's pretty nice. And then plenty of counter space. Got your nice gas range right here with a pot filler, beautiful white tile backsplash, and of course, the great big range hood. Let's get into to some of the cabinets. And again, like I said, I love the black on white. Just looks super sharp. And then sitting in the island, look at these pendant lights, huge. But plenty of seating space over here. Got some outlets on the leg over here. And then on this side, you've got your dishwasher. And this beautiful sink. And look at that, that's a fun faucet. And then from there, we can transition into the morning room. And in here, you do have access out onto the back deck. fun little place to uh, kind of hang out. You got these windows that provide a bunch of light. Behind that, you got a little buffet with some more glass pane cabinets and this beautiful wine chiller. Get into some of these. That one's got stuff in it. But again, I like how the accent cabinets uh, kind of 
go all the way down. I think that looks really sharp. And then just off of the kitchen, you do have kind of a little hallway back here and you do have a pantry. So fear not. You got this little pocket door that kind of separates it. Nice wood shelves in here. Just plenty of storage space. And then to the right of that, you got your mud room slash laundry room. I wonder if there's two laundry rooms because this one's kind of way out of the way, but you got stackable washer and dryer in here. And then of course, all the little cubbies, little places to hang coats. Now let's see, this should be out into the two car garage. Yeah, these homes, oh my goodness, they have been incredible to say the least. You got a powder room with a pedestal vanity and your toilet also in here. And then we'll go ahead and go out onto the back porch from here. And then we'll go back through where the morning room is, but a lot of outdoor space. Got a nice fireplace over there, which is cool. Built-in grill. Y'all, it is, <laughs> ow, that hurt, shocked me. It is, uh, it's, it's definitely winter time now. So <laughs> we found uh, Infinity Homes I think, I wanna say through Instagram maybe. I was just scrolling and I was like, man, beautiful home, let's reach out to them. So thankful that they allowed us to come out here and tour all of their models. Um, but Pennsylvania, December, <laughs> it's cold. So a couple nice countertops over here next to this big old gas fireplace. It is pumping out some heat. And then you got a little refrigerator over here too with the mantle get over here in this corner real quick so you can kind of take it all in but yeah i mean every one of their homes are super cool and we did just go through uh we had never toured a townhouse before and they have uh, a townhouse so we got to go check that out and whew, i tell you what the master suite in that place was ridiculous like it was the whole floor but anyway coming back into the living room i love this too you got the nice exposed beams in here again another fireplace with a nice rock surround and then on either side of that you've got some nice built-ins as well i like these little accent lights those are fun and here they kind of flipped it you know you got the blackboard and batten siding with the white trim that's pretty neat. I want to see a whole home like that with blackboard and batten and white trim. That's what I want. And then back, heading back towards the foyer over here, you do have another place to kind of hang up all of your coats and some more cubbies. All right. Now, from here, there's a stairwell that goes to the finished basement as well as up to all of the other bedrooms. We'll go ahead and head down here to the finished basement nice windows right there and see what all this has to offer go ahead and check this out so we're not getting all crazy Ooh, this one is nice got the single vanity but look at that that's wild and in the tub i mean the shower doors pretty nifty and you do have an adjustable shower head, it looks like, and a removable shower head. And then into a gym. This is the third one that we've seen that has had a gym uh, down in the finished basement. But I mean, you know, the basements, all that stuff's open to your imagination. You know what I mean? This stuff, you can sit down with them and be like, oh yeah, that's what I want. Like that, that bathroom right there. And then you've got a little sitting, oh my goodness. Y'all wait until I turn you around. <laughs> this thing is, so anyway, back to this. A little sitting room, third fireplace, very nice. 
and you've got some great big windows looking out onto a, another patio area. And then into kind of the bar space. That bar is like the back end of it is nice. You got a fun little bar over against the wall again with some more light fixtures. I'm a I'm a bourbon guy, so I always I like seeing stuff like this. It's always fun. Um, just a little something about me, but I would love like a little speakeasy. Ooh, we got another microwave down here. I would love to have like a, a little speakeasy in the basement or something. So seeing stuff like this always gives me fun ideas. I like these drawers too. This wood, I've been seeing like these homes have had so much nice wood. You got dishwasher and look at this sink. <laughs> How cool is that? That's wild. But plenty of places to put the wine. in heaven just spinning around in circles but you do have another little closet right here which is cool for storage all those snacks making me hungry I, had, I didn't eat breakfast this morning so uh, figured I'd grab something on the way back to the Delaware it's not too bad of a drive about I think it was five hours to get up here so that's not too bad and then out here on this patio area Kind of another fun hangout spot. I mean, I'm probably not gonna put my, my fire pit there, but I move that out into the yard. But that's pretty neat. All right, so let's head back upstairs and then we'll work our way to uh, the bedroom level. And then up here, you do have another little landing, cool little light fixture. Some more windows. See the woods changed up here too. This is nice, like a kind of a blue looking wood. And then you've got a huge landing up here. Go check out all of the bedrooms in just a minute. Little banister overlooking your foyer. And we'll start on this side. So this is the first of the bedrooms. Good size. And these windows makes it nice and bright in here. The stripes. What do you think about the stripes? Gray and white stripes everywhere. It's a little different. Into the closet. Yeah, we've seen some some nice modern farmhouses. Diani did a good one too. But I think the Infinity Home, this one's got it beat. You can let me know about it down in the comments. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down in the description so you can go check that one out as well. We'll kind of, they're close. Diani's like Ohio, Kentucky area. And then you're more Pennsylvania up this way. Nice single vanity. And then in here, I saw this in the other one too. Um, you've kind of got the kind of pitch ceiling right here into a shower and tub combo. And you've got a kind of a common hall bath with a double vanity. Some nice light fixtures. There's a lot in here. So you got another shower and tub combo. Nice tile surround back there and your toilet. All of that is separated by this pocket door. And then behind us, I believe this is a linen closet. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to, to hide all of the good stuff. I don't know if that's like the master bedroom or not, but anyway, into, this is the third bedroom up here. This one sits towards the back of the home, 
kind of on the side. Fun little dot patterns on the wall. But again, into its closet. And it, there is a whole nother floor to this place. Oh yeah. So this is the master bedroom. This is us, yeah. So nice light fixture, love that. Great big room. It does sit towards the back of the home. Whoa. Woo. And into the ensuite. Good gracious. So you got the zero threshold shower over here. And look, the, it kind of drains up underneath of the wall like it's hidden. So that's pretty cool. You got the rainfall shower head and you even got a tiled ceiling in here. And you've got a little bench over here onto the side. You got a remote. I don't even know what that does. <laughs> I don't want to turn it on. I might get soaking wet. And then you've got double floating vanities, which is cool. Nice little globe lights over the top of them. How big are these drawers? The bowls. And then you do have a standalone tub. That's got to like control lights or something. That's my thought. And you do have a water closet. And then into the the closet closet. Ooh. And it just keeps this. Oh, it does have an upstairs laundry room. Nice. I was concerned about that. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Let's get through all of the closets in the closet. <laughs> That's crazy. I wish my closet had a closet. But just a plenty of room in here and then boom. I mean, your laundry room has its own wine chiller. There is stuff everywhere. Like, y'all, I'm in heaven. The tile's cool. Looks like you got a makeup vanity over here. Like, you have a laundry room in your closet. Send the kids downstairs. That's where they can do their laundry. <laughs> it's like an oasis. All right, we got another whole floor to go explore. That just got me even more excited. So we'll see what is up here. Again, another landing with some more light fixtures. And to the top. So a great big loft area. Again, this is probably another space that you could do any number of things with. A little nook over here. That's pretty neat. Ooh, the automatic lights. This is like your maintenance room. Got your furnace up here. Again, the nook. We've got a, uh, we went got one of those giant beanbag chairs from, oh man, what's it called? Love Sack. <laughs> that's way too big, it's huge. But everybody loves it, the kids are always sitting on it. But that's the biggest beanbag I've ever seen. But you got a fun little kind of prep area for some, some popcorn and some snacks. Got a little dishwasher up here too. Put yourself a TV up here somewhere. Well, there's a TV somewhere. <laughs> but you got a coat closet or just a game closet. And you do have some more attic access up here. Nice little study space for the kids as well. I mean, obviously these are just like different places you can do things with. They don't have to be that. 
and then into the bathroom. That's convenient too, sitting there watching a movie, you don't have to go real far. Single vanity, toilet, and a walk-in shower. If you want any more information on this model, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can find this home, as well as all the homes that we've toured across the country and see if they're built in your area. But with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.